The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, I thought y'all'd be interested in this. Uh, uh, quite a bit of you are interested in this anyway. There's some of you that's got some crazy notions that, uh, you know, you, that people just don't want to hear. But anyway, that's needless here nor there. So, <coughs> I'm making this video mainly so uh, I can promote it. And I'm going to play one with no sound, which this one. Then I'm going to play this one with sound so y'all can watch them both at the same time and it won't make the video as long so here we go and let's check it out see what it sounds like Back on March 24th of this year, then-presidential candidate Rick Santorum won Louisiana. He won the Louisiana State Republican primary. Rick Santorum won with 49% of the vote. Mitt Romney got 27%, Newt Gingrich 16%, Ron Paul 6%. The great state of Louisiana will send 46 delegates to the Republican convention in Tampa this summer. But even though Ron Paul came in dead last in Louisiana, even though he came in fourth out of four in Louisiana, when Louisiana send its de sends its delegates to the convention in Tampa this summer, Louisiana will retroactively become a dead heat between him and Mitt Romney. It's looking like right now maybe 19 delegates for Mitt Romney and 17 for Ron Paul. Rick Santorum is now out of the race. will still have the remaining 10 that he got that March night. But Ron Paul supporters overwhelmingly dominated the Louisiana caucuses this past weekend. Almost three quarters of the Republicans elected at the caucuses in Louisiana say they support Ron Paul for president. Also this weekend, there was chaos at the Republican caucuses in the great state of Massachusetts. Less than half of Mitt Romney's delegates were elected to represent him at the convention. Voters instead chose Ron Paul delegates. They even rejected Mr. Romney's former lieutenant governor from his time as governor of the state. She lost as a delegate, so Ron Paul delegates could win. Also this weekend, Ron Paul supporters in the great state of Alaska quite literally took over the state party's convention. A Ron Paul guy won the state party chairmanship. Uh, the Paul supporters were so fired up in Alaska, they were just so loud, that Senator Lisa Murkowski, who's a Mitt Romney supporter, hear that? Could not deliver her planned speech in the room. Neither could her guest, Wyoming Senator John Barrasso. The crowd is chanting, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, and nobody else is getting a word in edgewise. As a result of all this, a Ron Paul supporter won the election for state Republican Party chairman. He beat out the guy backed by the current Alaska chairman, who's had the job for over a decade. Alaska's going to end up sending six Ron Paul delegates to the Republican National Convention in Tampa. We've seen this Ron Paul plot before. I mean, do you remember the Iowa Republican caucuses this year? First they said that Mitt Romney won it, but then it turned out that no, that wasn't right. Then they tried to say it was a tie. Then Rick Santorum was declared the winner. But then it turned out none of it actually mattered in a practical sense, because the Iowa caucuses did not allocate, allocate a single delegate. A state Republican Party committee does that. A state Republican Party committee picks the delegates who go to the Republican convention. And last month, Ron Paul supporters took over that committee guaranteeing Ron Paul at least half, at least half of Iowa's 28 delegates. So in the end, forget all that nonsense, Ron Paul won Iowa. And, oh, by the way, a Ron Paul supporter now chairs the Iowa Republican Party as well. Ron Paul supporters have used state party rules and conventions and processes uh, to secure victories large and small that will have a practical effect on the Republican Party. If not the nominating process for president this year, maybe the convention itself. Ron Paul's strategy hasn't been to convert non-believers or to swing Romney delegates over to his side. The Ron Paul strategy has been to get his own supporters inside, to get them inside the process. And we cannot say we didn't see this coming. How do you, from the outside, make positive change as you're not your party's nominee and as uh, president, if, if that's the little people? 
have the outside. You don't have the outside become the inside. We don't win over the uh, insiders by becoming like an insider. We win the o inside over by making the outsiders become more appropriate. Making the outsiders become more appropriate, like making them take over the state parties. In addition to those coups this weekend and before in Louisiana and in Massachusetts and in Alaska and in Iowa, uh, Ron Paul has won more than half the delegates in Minnesota and in Washington State. So yes, Ron Paul won Minnesota and Washington State. He's got his eyes on Maine, on Missouri and Nevada as well. He is scheduled to speak at the Nevada Republican State Convention this weekend. If Ron Paul wins a majority of delegates in five states, his name will officially be entered in nomination at the Republican National Convention in Tampa. And there will be a lot of Republican Ron Paul delegates there to cheer or do something when that happens. And then what? The Republicans fight it out like gladiators at the Coliseum? I love this stuff. Okay, everybody. Well, you saw the videos. <coughs> and... I, I want you to notice all the people. How come? I'll explain this to me. How come? If he's doing so bad, there's still a lot of people out there that don't know that Ron Paul's even in the running. But the ones that do, look at the ones that do. Romney has not had one turnout like this. Santorum didn't have one. Gingrich ain't had one. We ain't seen the turnouts like this since Obama. So people, look at this stuff. I mean, this is this is great stuff. Mainstream media is not using none of this. Do you see this, folks? Look at the people. I'm, I'm just clicking around here just to show you the people. It's everywhere. I mean tons of people look at all the people Romney didn't have that Santorum ain't had that Gingrich ain't had that hell even Obama's not having that anymore they're lying to us folks so remember keep your head up oh look at what they done they, they stopped me from oh here we go they let come back I was gonna mention something look at all the people just people, I'm sorry it's blurry, it's just because I'm not moving it. 1,500, or is that 45? It looks like 45, it's because it's moving. But look at all that, people. Don't you see, this is great news. This is great news. So please, everybody, the original videos where you can go and watch them one at a time and listen to both of them are on my blog. You can see that it's here. Please come over and watch them one at a time. I'm making this video so I can promote these on the blog. I don't have a lot of followers on the blog. And the only way for me to get the information over to the blog is to make a video. So people know about it and they can go and, and look at it over there. So take your time. Go to look. It's going to be posted for quite a while. It's going to be posted for a long time. But it's going to be in this top spot right here where this one is right here this one will get pushed down and it'll be right here for a day or two well unless something majorly doubt desperate comes up that needs to go up there that's generally where every anything underneath this one right here the first one right there is the latest one and therefore you know so on and so forth all the way down so much love to y'all heads up and y'all all have a great day. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.